Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, he's our pig. It's Mr. Nick. Yay! Hey everybody, welcome to the Mr. Nick Show, and I'm your host, Mr. Nick. And this is my co-host, Allie. Hi. We're continuing our series on outer space, and today we're talking about the planet Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun, and it is the second smallest planet in our solar system. Mars was named after the Roman god of war. Mars. Mars is called the red planet because it has high amounts of iron on the surface which makes it red. Mars has two moons. One of them is so close to Mars that it orbits around Mars three times in a day. That moon keeps getting about six feet closer to Mars every 100 years. Eventually, it will either crash into Mars or it will break up in the atmosphere and form a ring around Mars. Mars has the largest mountain in the solar system and it is called Olympus Mons. It is about 374 miles in diameter which makes it about the same size as Arizona. On at least five different occasions, pieces of Mars have broken off and fallen to Earth. The most recent time was in 2011. Pieces were found in the desert of Morocco. It is thought that they broke off of Mars after being hit by a meteorite. Could you imagine finding pieces of Mars on Earth? People actually own pieces of Mars. Wouldn't that be so crazy to touch a piece of Mars? There have been several attempts to travel to Mars, not yet by humans, but a lot of people wonder if humans would be able to make it on Mars. Well, let's talk about that. Mars has a high temperature of only about 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's near its equator, which is in the middle. That's about as hot as it gets on Mars. 70 degrees Fahrenheit, that's comfortable, but if that's as hot as it gets, that means it can get pretty cold too. Now, of course, humans also need oxygen to breathe in order to survive. On Earth, the Earth's atmosphere is about 21% oxygen, but on Mars, less than 1% oxygen, 0.145% oxygen in the atmosphere on Mars is not going to get it done when it comes to how much oxygen we need. So that means people would have to wear an oxygen breathing apparatus at all times or possibly a big dome or several domes could maybe be built if oxygen was pumped into them. So I guess it is possible that people could live on Mars, but there would definitely need to be some changes made so that we could breathe, which, you know, is kind of a basic need to live. And one other thing when it comes to living on Mars, remember how I said that pieces of Mars have broken off and they think that maybe it's because of meteorites hitting Mars? Yeah, Mars has a lot of craters on it, which means it's been hit by meteorites. I don't think I necessarily want to live somewhere where I might get hit by a meteorite just walking down the street. But I guess if they built a dome and it was strong enough to withstand a meteorite strike, you never know. All right, everybody. Hope you had a great time learning all about Mars. That's an interesting planet. All right, do you know what time it is? It's time for the joke of the day. Okay, Allie, are you ready? Ready. What's fast, loud, and crunchy? Ooh, well, I don't know. A rocket chip. <laughs> All right, everybody, I hope you liked that episode. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel so you see all of our other great episodes we're doing, not just about outer space, but everything. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mr. Nick, 
Mr. Nick, he's our pick. It's Mr. Nick. Yay!